Hey everyone, today is about keeping your LECA clean from algae and other issues that that might create. So what is algae? Algae is typically a single celled organism that photosynthesizes without roots or leaves. And it photosynthesizes using the sunlight or light that we have our plants in. Why don't we like that? Because this algae that's on the rocks consumes the oxygen out of our water. And the oxygen in our water is the essence of our root health. If we lose our oxygen in our water, we lose these healthy white roots and it starts kind of rotting. Algae overall tends to attract fungus gnats too. The thing with LECA and hydroponics LECA is that we want to keep that system sterile. So we're going to fight this with good old hydrogen peroxide again. We're going back to adding in that oxygen back into that root zone. It's the 3% strength, the one they sell everywhere. So let's go over how to kind of sterilize and prepare a system that has algae to make it not have algae in the future and to prevent algae. So I have my kind of dirty LECA vase and the very first thing to do is to scrub it down. It's just simple soap and water. I have a teeny little sponge here. A good little hack is to take a full size sponge and chop it up into like six or nine different pieces. And then you have little sponges that are sterile for the next time you're doing a little LECA project. All right, so I've got my clean and dried LECA vase. Next up is to clean my dirty LECA rocks. The best way to clean your rocks I've found is just to use a little bucket or a Tupperware, whatever you have. Throw in all of your LECA into that bucket and then we're gonna add back some water, hydrogen peroxide and some soap. So I'll add in about a quart of water to fully submerge the rocks. I'll put in about a half ounce of hydrogen peroxide and about three or four drops of dish soap. You can really use whatever you have, but I like to use this Dawn. And then I have my scrub brush and nothing fancy here, but scrub your rocks. And for the plant that I'm gonna put in, I'm gonna put this spider plant into LECA. I take a little toothbrush from the 99 cent store and I find that little bit of root rot and I'll just scrub it just with that water that I made, water, dish soap and hydrogen peroxide, the little mix. And I'll simply just scrub off the kind of the blacked parts of this root mass. I'll leave these nice white fibrous healthy roots alone, but I want to make sure that there is no root rot and other algae causing life forms down here in my root zone that are going to just cause root rot and algae and all sorts of other things we don't want to happen. Most issues with houseplants come from the root zone and it typically has to do with root rot. You want to start with a healthy plant and a clean plant and then a clean vase and clean rocks. So I have my rocks here and a colander just to strain them through. Now I'll rinse over the top of my LECA with regular water to rinse off my rocks. The clean LECA is going to go into my vase. All right, so we have our plant transplanted. The roots have been sterilized, our rocks have been sterilized, and the vase is now clean. The final step is to prep our water to go inside this vase, and that needs to be sterile also. So we're gonna use that hydrogen peroxide again to add into our water solution. I'll put a little hydrogen peroxide into this cup and then use my pipette to measure out three mLs, three milliliters per gallon of water. A lot of people use different concentrations, three mLs is safe, but I've seen people go all the way up to one ounce per gallon of water to really keep the water sterile and full of oxygen. So I've got my gallon of water and three mLs of H2O2, and I'll put that straight into there. And for this spider plant, I'm gonna continue with my LECA nutrients. It's just barely rooting, so I have three mLs of part A and six milliliters of part B. So I'll just mix this up. Now I'll just add this back to my LECA vase. And I'm gonna run my water line on this LECA pot a little bit higher up because I know that the roots are kind of somewhere around here and force them to stretch down into this solution to find that water and that will encourage root production. And once in a while, like maybe, maybe every couple days, I'll just hold all of the rocks and just swish the water up to the top to make sure that the plant isn't going thirsty, especially when they're early on in their stage of life. Start with clean, sterile rocks. Start with a clean vase just by scrubbing it with soap and start with a clean root system. That will prevent root rot and the algae and it's gonna prevent a lot of gardening issues to come in the future. I hope you guys did learn something new in this video. If you did, please click thumbs up down below. And if you wanna come back every Saturday for a new houseplant YouTube video about LECA or rare plants, click subscribe and we'll see you next Saturday. Saturday. Thank you so much for watching. Have a good day.